is NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams, reporting tonight from the Olympic Winter Games in Sochi, Russia. More from here in Sochi, and an American Olympic champion whose new look on life is inspiring others. Tomorrow in the mountains outside Sochi, American bobsledder Steve Holcomb will try for his second medal of these games when he leads his four-man team down the track on the first day of that competition. And for at least one fan cheering the Americans on, Holcomb's performance, win or lose, will be a sight to behold. It takes on Brett minutes. Gray traveled more than 6,000 miles with his dad to see the Winter Games in Sochi. Yeah! And to see the athlete whose story changed his life. For the fact that Gray can clearly see the American bobsledders thunder down the track, he owes in part to team captain and Olympic medalist Steve Holcomb. They never met, but they shared a degenerative eye condition that limited their view of the world around them. An athlete himself who wrestled for 17 years, Gray started having vision problems in college. Got to where I was tired of straining and not being able to see. And is that sharp? In 2010, he was diagnosed with keratoconus. It robs him of the ability oftentimes to read, drive a car, or even just function normally in life. For Steve Holcomb, keratoconus was so bad, it nearly cost him his sledding career. Severely depressed, he attempted suicide in 2007. I knew my career was coming to an end. I mean, I am, I'm lying to my friends and my family. I'm lying to my sponsors, my coaches, my push crew. A cornea transplant was not an option for the bobsledder because of a long recovery time. It was eye surgeon Dr. Brian Boxer Wackler who in 2008 offered Holcomb a life-changing alternative. It strengthens the cornea through an application of special vitamin solution combined with a special type of light. He had an implantable lens that restored his vision. The non-invasive surgery stabilized the eye disease. Holcomb regained his 2020 vision. Steve Holcomb has raced for gold! And went on to win the gold medal in the 2010 Vancouver Games. His remarkable comeback story made headlines. In Oklahoma, Brett Gray's mother heard about Holcomb's journey and got an idea. I thought, this is my kid. Um, I can't watch him go blind. I started searching for this Olympic gold medalist. It's going to be a little red. Just last month, like Gray underwent the, the so-called Holcomb C3R surgery. surgery. It was a success. Well, it's like a dream come true to have my son be able to see. <laughs> I only have words to tell you how I feel. Now in Sochi, Brett Gray cheers on his Olympic hero, inspirational not only for his victories on the track, but for helping others by sharing his struggle. People having the same success that I did is extremely heartwarming and extremely motivating for me. And Holcomb looks forward to meeting Brett Gray after he is done competing here. That's our broadcast for this Friday night. Thank you for being with us. I'm Lester Holt.